Hi guys, uh, um, I'm John Ricardo from Herb. I'm Patricia from Herb. And I'm a, a co-founder and CEO, unfortunately, because I, I, I wish to go to another fun areas, but uh, we found Herb like uh, 13 years ago and we are by far the, the best and uh, the biggest uh, OTA in Latin America. Patricia joined us uh, as uh, three years years ago, she's our managing director. And um, a lot of people ask us like uh, how we we, 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 we we can negotiate with uh, uh, such amazing uh, prices, okay? So basically, I, I I'll say, I'll talk for 30 seconds about her. Uh, mostly of our employees are technical guys, I mean, even visual or engineering or statistical or whatever, like a number of guys. Uh, our core, I can, I can, I can tell, is not uh, travel. So if you ask me, I don't understand a lot of, uh, about travel. But at the end of the day, we deal with numbers. Okay. So uh, when I start her uh, in 2011, uh, a lot of People ask, okay, you guys who is gonna start a company that already had Booking.com, which was one of the best return on S&P 500 on the last 10 years, and they are amazing. They are doing very, very well. But we saw opportunity that uh, the, the the travel industry use a lot of old technology, so make a. a, a a com a, a compare with financial market is like uh, 15 years ago, people with papers, and now we see high frequency trading, Russians, and Citadel, which is one of the biggest funds that nobody knows, doing like um, microseconds to make billions. And in the travel industry, uh, is not so different. So I'm gonna try to explain our magic and uh, a lot of people ask okay but you guys open uh, your model you guys open how you guys operate yeah we open because if somebody do better than us like uh, it's gonna be a challenge for ourselves to do better so the company already have 13 years and let's say that we crack the code on the last six years you want to compliment with something no no so far, so good. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I hope you can see, uh, that's today uh, the prices that we that we got compared with our machine learning uh, forecast in the low end forecast. So that's the airport code, and you see minus 29, minus 40, minus 36, minus 21, minus 21, minus whatever. In, in uh, average, like uh, 30 to 32, sometimes 36%. And you should be asking, okay, that's the minimum uh, in a intraday price. And you guys sent to the United States last year alone, one million passenger. Of course, we can't uh, uh, take advantage of the, let's say, the, the minimum price in 100% of our passengers. But in, in the financial market, when we buy a call, you just have one line of uh, volatility. Okay, so in our case, uh, our team build a very, uh, let's say, robust uh, data lake internally. Uh, again, like I have hundreds of engineers here. I mean, high-end engineers, machine learning guys. Those one that, uh, that you see on, on movies. Those one that you see that uh, predict things that are kind of dif difficult. And we have a kind of a high-frequency trading robot and every time that a price and the volatility is very big, but we have like a more than six, 
seven or eight uh, lines of uh, kind of volatility. Uh, just to comment here, um, imagine that each uh, airline company is a line of volatility. So if we're talking about United States alone, we have a uh, couple hundred, a couple dozens uh, airlines, different airlines that we can um, target the price and each one will have a minimum price. So um, when we use one, we have another and another and another and we, we operate globally. So when we are talking globally, we have hundreds of companies that allow us to get hundreds of minimum prices every day. Yeah, uh, perfect. Touch. It's the same uh, Nacinta Lab called optionality. So we take advantage of the volati vo vo volatility. So why I show you guys the macro uh, uh, graph about uh, Brazilian GDP, as you can see? Because we, of course, we saw some trends, but different than those uh, magicians, I mean, some companies like, uh, let's say, Hopper, uh, they operate in a very different way than us. They, they pretend to predict the price based on the past. So they have 30 years of data, and they pretend to, to, to predict the price based on that. And I'm a kind of a okay in math, and that's for me, is yes. Uh, you can't pretend something looking for the past 30 years. Uh, and we, we can see, as we talk, now cast the forecast weather of Google, out of which uh, have 100% of accuracy, only looking for 20 minutes on the past. So different than those, let's say, magicians that they should be on the financial market, I don't know why they aren't, we do different. What we do is, that's a real time uh, flights. Uh, we track even delays and everything because every delay or anticipation have a kind of a, a, a impact on the model. But basically, every single line, but th that's a, a, a small spread, okay? But every single line that go under 100 is a call option that make us make money. So if you have just one line, and depending on the spread, uh, we have, let's say, X chance. Uh, if we have like a 10 lines, we have not 10 X change because it's, it's not uh, uh, symmetric, but uh, we have um, uh, a lot more of chance. So as we talk, that's the, 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 the fluctuation. Fluctuation. Fluctuation of some price. So we take advantage on that. So every time a line pass here, we have robots that take advantage on that and just uh, issue the, the passenger. And why only us doing that? For two reasons, literally. One, purpose. Uh, we born uh, and uh, I, I try my best to, to keep loyal to, to our purpose, to make people travel, all right? So if we can make money and still make people travel, that's the best scenario possible. We make, uh, again, a million people go to the United States, out of which 80% don't even have passports before. And uh, two, because we born as a technology mindset, and the first time I saw a GTS in my front uh, was a kind of a joke. <laughs> it's the same uh, I see uh, Atari right now in 2023. And uh, we developed that for, for years. Uh, that's not the best thing for the, let's say, airlines, but not, our client is not the airline. Uh, our clients is the passenger, and that's how we operate. We are very open to that, 
and we challenge like uh, we have hackathons all around, and we challenge like uh, to any engineering that uh, is uh, 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 eager to try to do something better. Like uh, they can work with us, and as more efficient we are, we're gonna charge less, less, and less. Okay, and people sometimes don't understand the dynamics, but if you see the most profitable company in Europe, the only one who really had profit on the last quarter was Ryanair, and they charged $9 for passengers sometimes. So after that, we have a lot of time, a lot of things to make money. We have a lot of things like uh, to deliver this software for another kind of a business, and that's, uh, how we operate, a company made in Brazil that are, I, I, I will not say transforming an industry and even disrupting, but. Yeah, if you won't say, I will. Yeah. We are. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's it, and that's our secret. And uh, yeah, engineering from Brazil. I think I uh, have a lot of a very good team. And. Uh, I was uh, provoked to start to, sh to show that to the whole world because we see some OTAs that have some bozos as the CEOs on these whatever events saying, I do that, this and this. Those guys do regressions and they, 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 they show a lot of graphs, but then at the end of the day they charge um, a, a big price. So. That's BS for me. So thank you guys so much to join us tonight. And um, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest news and with our latest projects. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, subscribe to our, our channel. Like we don't talk only about travel, we talk a lot, a, lot, a lot about technology and other things. And still my challenge, like if someone wanna apply, we'll be very welcome.